Hi! I figured I would vlog today, so hello and welcome to the vlog. I got this new handy dandy Joby thing. Um, I'll link it down below, but it's like a little like tripod thing, so I can like hold on to it so I'm not like all up in your face. Awesome news! I opened up an Etsy shop, link will be below. I've been having to hide it from you guys for like so long. So I'm finally excited to share more with you and I can share what my dining room looks like because there's piles of washi right there because I had a little late night washi wrapping session which was awesome. And today I am off to do like administrative stuff. So I need to go to Staples. Um, they sent me a $10 off coupon for in-store only, not online, but I've been like purchasing everything online. Um, my printer came, it's in that box right there above my thumb. I need to set that up today, which will happen, but I realized I'm like, I don't have any printer paper. So I'm gonna go to Staples and get that. And then right next to Staples is Michael's. People have been asking me like where I'm getting my washi. Um, and I'm getting some of it online, but the majority of it is like, you know, just places out and about. So Michael's, um, I just like to stop in there and see if there's any good deals. Yeah, you know, things I don't already have, I guess. So anyway, I've got my car, my garage is open, not my car is open, my garage is open already, my garage door, and um, I think it's time to go. So I am gonna take you guys along for my little journey today, and um, yeah, I'm so I'm so excited about my Etsy shop finally being open. Sorry my eyebrow like itches, probably because I'm wearing makeup for like the second time in a long time. I did wear makeup on Sunday, so yeah. But the shop has been open for less than 24 hours, and I've already had like, I think my Etsy shop page says I've had like 80 sales. Like it's been insane. So I'm so excited to get those um, packaged up and everything. I'm gonna get some of those packaged up today, but um, my scale is coming tomorrow so I can actually weigh my packages so I can print out shipping labels directly from Etsy. I thought I had purchased that a while ago, but I didn't. <laughs> so it was one of those things that I like put in my Amazon cart and then I like hit the little save for later when I thought I had actually purchased it, but I didn't. So that's actually coming on Wednesday morning. So I'll get all those packages out on Wednesday, but I'm gonna get them um, packaged up tonight, but then have the shipping labels on there tomorrow when the scale shows up. So. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's go uh, do administrative things together and like go out in the world and see people and like interact and stuff. Weird, right? Uh. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I'm at Staples looking for paper. There's a lot to look at you guys, but um, I found the paper that I wanted. But I show you, I was gonna show you everything else that I got. So, so here's all the things I'm getting. I need to find some like receipt organizers so I got the like 13 ones um, I got a big one a small one and this one I keep forgetting like if I go to like Joann's or Michael's or anywhere and they give you like those like you know 50% off a full item coupon or something I need something like this to just go in my purse um, so I'm gonna get this I got some sharpies I also got some new scissors because my other ones are getting like really junked up from the adhesive. Um, I also got this. It's just like a little hole punch and then paper. So anyway, it is time to check out and I'm going to go over to Michael's because it's like three doors down. Isn't that a band? But anyways, I'm going to check that out and I will see you guys in a minute. So this Michael's unfortunately was a bust. Like, you can't see it, but it was. Um, yeah, so they didn't really have any good stuff that I didn't already see before, but I just realized that there is a, um, what am I trying to say? Ah, um, there is uh, another Michaels in Blaine off of 35 in I think Lexington. So I am gonna go check that one out kind of on my way home. It's like, it's kind of on the way, but it's not like directly on the way. So I think I'm gonna check that one out and see, and then go home after that. So yeah, it's about, one o'clock in the afternoon. Plus I ended up talking to my mom for quite a while when I was in Staples. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, yeah, there's stuff back there too, but it has nothing to do with anything else. I actually need to clean out my car like really badly and there's someone walking in front of my car that's like literally staring at me like, okay. <laughs> the joys of vlogging guys, the joys of vlogging. Um, anyway. So I'm gonna go check out this other Michaels and see if they have um, some more of the washi that I'm looking for. Yeah, go from there. And they're having this like sale on con like storage containers too. I looked at this one and this one didn't have the storage containers I was looking for um, to like house all the washi samples. So 
I'm hoping that this one does because they're running a pretty good sale right now. So um, I think it's like 70% off and then I got an email with a 20% off of your entire purchase like coupon. So yeah, pretty good deal. So anyway, I think it's like a one day only thing. But um, that's the plan for right now and I will um, check in in just a little bit when things get a little more interesting in my world. Well, hi, things have changed. So I am still in Blaine, but I went to Michael's and got a bunch of washi. So that will be up in my shop in the next probably two, three weeks. I'm working on a bunch of other stuff too. So it's gonna take me a while to like get some stuff figured out, but they did have the containers I was looking for. So let me show you what I got. Ta-da! I got these, there's the label. Today, um, I'm gonna put this video up on Wednesday, but today they're having a sale. All the like recollections plastic storage is like, I don't know, like 60% off or something. So those are normally, I think $9.99, um, but they were like three bucks, four bucks. So um, I actually got three of them because I know I'm gonna be using them in the near future to store things, so yeah. But um, I actually was driving by in an area that I don't normally drive in and I noticed that Von Hansen's Meats is over here. So I'm gonna get um, these like stick things that I think are really good. So this is Von Hansen's. I know there's Von Hansen's like a lot of places in the cities, but I don't know if it's like a national chain, but they've got really good meat. So um, I'm not a huge meat eater, but I really like these like snack stick things. And um, once I go in there, I'll show you what they are. I get the cheese ones, um, but I don't, I don't know exactly what they're called because I haven't had them in like a year or so. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in and get some of those and I will um, be back in a minute. And this is what they look like. These are the Von Hansen's Meats Smoked and Cooked Smoke Sausage Stick with Cheese. Keep refrigerated. So yeah, that's what I got. These are definitely like a guilty pleasure and they're kind of spendy. Like they do them by like unit price. So this one, this was $5.88 for a package, but they're really, really good. So hmm. indulge once in a while, you know. But anyway, I am on my way home now. I just need to go stop at the gas station because I've got like a quarter tank of gas and then I'll be home walking Doyle and um, yeah, then uh, I'm getting stuff done. So I am back home and I'm finally eating lunch, but it is a couple minutes to four, yay. Um, anyway, so here's what I'm having for my lunch. Um, I could do like a cook with me if you guys are interested in this. I don't know. It kind of looks a little crazy right now, but you know, it's delicious. What is in this? I'm sure you guys are wondering. So ring noodles, they have to be ring noodles for some reason. They just like taste better with this. So ring noodles, I prefer Miracle Whip. Um, you can use mayonnaise if you don't like Miracle Whip. And then I put peas, diced, like finely diced celery, and then you can choose a meat. Um, I put ham this time, like a cubed ham. I've done it with tuna, um, also like turkey breast, like diced turkey breast. Um, and then I like to put hard boiled egg in there. Um, you can't really see the hard boiled egg really well because the yellow part kind of just gets, you know, into the mixture and then the white part is really, really fine. So anyway, um, you can also put like a white onion or a red onion in there if you like onions. I don't prefer onions. Yeah, that's what it is. But if you guys wanna see uh, actual like video about it, you can like let me know down below and I'll do that at some point. But I made a huge batch of it um, the other day and I feel like I'm gonna be eating this for like a really long time. <laughs> Also in other news, speaking of eating, my uncle is gonna be coming over. Uh, he said he'd be over in about an hour. So um, we're gonna take my dad's car and drop it off at their home because my parents are driving from Florida to Minnesota this week. So I just want it to be there and ready for them because I'm not sure what time they're gonna get in. So I don't wanna have to have them, like if you know my mom's unpacking the car or something, um, my dad wants to go somewhere, you know, he kinda can't, he has to like wait, so. Uh, my dad's not the best at waiting about for anything, so I figured we would just get that done and then I'll just leave the keys over at their place. So, 
he's gonna come over and do that. And I told him to bring a container because I have a lot of this available and he really likes it too. So it's like a nice like summer salad. So I'm gonna eat that and have my Coke of the day and um, pack up some orders in a little bit, but I need to get my printer online, um, which by the way is still in a box right there because I've been out all day. Um, and Doyle really, really wants some pea salad, but he's not getting any guys. Sorry, he ain't getting any of this. I'm sorry, little boy. I'm sorry, little boy. I know, it's so sad. <laughs> all right, well, I will check in when things get a little bit more interesting. <laughs> So I am setting up my printer now. Um, I know it's kind of crazy to like have it in the kitchen, but for right now, we're just gonna go with it. But it's like making a lot of noise right at the moment. It says it's calibrating. Okay. But um, I like when I get instructions like this because the worded instructions always make no sense. So I don't know. It's kind of like Ikea instructions. like. Just give me a picture, I can figure that out. All right, it says it's ready, so let's see here. I think I have to go to step three, which is a totally different um, pamphlet here. So if you guys are interested in which um, little printer man I got, I'll put a link below for you guys. But okay, now it's time to concentrate. I need to actually read this, but um, I'll let you know when it's, uh, when it's actually printing. Hopefully soon, sooner rather than later. Okay, update, it's been like 10 minutes. It's doing things. It's like essential software, HP Easy Scan. Ooh, how exciting. But I have to show you guys, well, I have like a mess in my hands now, but I gotta take that out to the trash. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh, dang it, he's coming back. There he is, Captain America over there. Hard to see him. He was judging up in the rafters up there. <laughs> but he decided to stop judging. And now he's gonna judge from there. Mm -hmm. That's what he does, right Doyle? Judgmental dog, very judgmental dog. But um, yeah, here's the carnage of the packaging. And this printer is like really heavy, but it's a laser jet printer, um, which I think I'm going to like a lot. I just want it to like print something. Be like, yeah, it works. I'm like hardwiring it up for my laptop right now, and then I'm gonna just install the like wireless aspect later. It's fine, because my internet is a little bit wonky from time to time, so I'd rather just throw my laptop on the top of it and just let it print for, you know, whatever it needs to print for. And I'm like doing orders and shipping labels and things like that. So my uncle isn't here yet, which it's been, more than an hour so but he's not the most like diligent with timing sometimes <laughs> so i do do you guys see doyle now if that isn't a judgmental dog i don't know what is doodle what are you doing buddy oh it's like looking outside or attempting to look outside oh so since i vlogged last i took down my decorations yay um and also I put my little head up to, oh, it's so hard to see it, I'm sorry. Um, it's really, really bright outside still, so even though it's kind of overcast, let's see. There you go, you guys can see it a little bit better. But yeah, my little skull is up, and um, someone was asking me if the skull is real. I don't know, I don't think it is. It's quite light, um, it's just like big and awkward, so it was a little interesting finagling putting that up by myself, but I got it done. Um, but the last owner of the home actually had it up on that wall up there. And um, I, I told him that I liked it. I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then he's like, do you want, do you want it? I'm like, sure. Because he ended up, I don't know if I guys have ever told you guys this. So like he owned this home for, like since it was built. It was built in 2002, 2003? No. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, well he was the original owner and then he decided that he wanted to sell last year and then he talked to some real estate agents and they were just not giving him like the price he wanted and he was like, eh, whatever, I'll just stay. So then he ended up moving into like a friend's basement or something. So, cause he didn't know what he wanted to do. He didn't know if he wanted to 
actually like buy something else or if he just wanted to rent for a little while so he was like renting some basement and then it was just like less things to store if I were to you know take that head off of his hands I'm like sure you can leave it here that's fine Ooh, look I get to do something get to press continue <gasps> so exciting I don't really Gosh, I'm on this like group chat thing with my family, like extended family, and I don't know why I'm on it because it has nothing to do with me. Very irritating, by the way. So everyone keeps like chatting about things that don't pertain to me. So, um, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> like I just want to turn my phone off, like turn my alerts off, but then I won't get any other messages from anybody else. So. Anyway, okay, well I'm gonna keep going with this and as soon as it prints, I'm gonna show you. Okay, it's ready to print, it says. So I'm gonna print a test page. Let's see what happens. It's gonna come out right here. Does this thing come out anymore? No, okay. Uh, and the only reason I got this printer, by the way, is because it was a laser printer, first of all, and I wanted a laser printer. And um, it was white and it had really good reviews on Amazon. Because <laughs> you know me. I have to have all things white or silver, like light, lightish. I don't want like super dark things. Um, mainly because I've had like black printers in the past. And I feel like they just attract so, so much dust. Oh, look, it printed. Ah, printing is enabled. Whoa. Oh, by the way, this paper, if you guys order from my shop, this paper is like so nice. <laughs> um, I'm excited I got it. Okay, now I don't really want to scan, so we'll just continue. I don't, I don't want to test the scanning. It's fine. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'm good to go. I'm going to start uh, doing some orders now. <laughs> it's officially printing my things. It's got like 48 pages to do, so it's thinking real hard right now. But <laughs> I know this is like not that exciting, but I haven't had a printer in like several years. Yay! Look at all the beautiful things coming out. Oh, yippee skippy. Okay, anyway. All right, I'm gonna stop at the printer and I'll see you guys in a little bit. What are you, what are you doing, Doyle? What are you doing? You're not hiding at all, by the way. Poor Doyle. I know, he's sad. Well, hello my friends, it is the end of the day. It's like 8.15 and I haven't had dinner yet because I ate my lunch noodly looking thing at what, what was it, like four, four-ish? Anyway, um, I have my first few orders already all packed up and ready to go and those are going to go out in the mail tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, I actually need to wait for, I. I think I said this before, but I need to get my scale, and that's coming tomorrow. Uh, my mail usually comes here. I, I got it on Amazon. My mail usually comes between like 11 to 11.30. So I'll just get those all like, they're all packed up and ready to go. I just need to weigh them and then print out shipping labels, slap the shipping labels on there, and take them to the post office. And my post office is open till 4.30, I think, 4.35, something like that. So. Anyway, I'll get those out tomorrow. So that's gonna be very exciting. It's an exciting time, it's an exciting time. So I'm really pumped. I actually had two separate listings sell out. Like they're gone, all gone. Like you guys consumed all of the washi. <laughs> so there's a couple of floral patterns that were quite popular, let me tell you. So anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. I just wanted to kind of take you around my day. Um, I actually posted on my favorite daughter's shop Instagram. I'll leave that link down below if you guys wanna follow me there. There's gonna be like shop updates and lots of other things of, you know, shipping times or vacations or new product and things like that. Um, I'm not doing like a ton of posting right now because like there's like 130 listings right now. So I feel like that would be like kind of bombarding to put up all of them. So I'm usually, I'm picking like four or five and putting those up per day right now to kind of get caught up. And then um, if there's new stuff in the shop, I'll put like new and then, you know, put it window. Put it you know on there so um feel free to follow me on instagram there oh something just happened on my phone cool um but anyway i wanted to show you doyle one more time say hi doodle <laughs> i still have to take out my 
huge, huge mammoth of a box right there. Like, ah, uh, I need to take that out to the recycling. I can't recycle all the bits and pieces, but I need to take that out to the trash slash recycling. But it is recycle day this week, so that'll be good because I need to break down a bunch of boxes. But I am going to have some dinner. I don't know what yet, but whatever. And then um, I thought I was gonna get this video uploaded tomorrow, but maybe I'll do it tonight if I've got some time. Um, but I'm gonna wrap some washi as well, um, kind of into the evening. I don't know why, but I feel like really productive from like 8 p.m. to like midnight. I just can like sit and wrap washi. Like I'm not bombarded with like daily things at that point. It's like, okay, I can sit and I can like do this. <laughs> so I just like wrap till I can't wrap anymore. But um, yeah, anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. If you guys are interested in more behind the scenes stuff of the shop and everything, uh, follow me on Instagram, let me know. I can always do like videos and stuff about it. I'll be back with more fun content very soon so feel free to subscribe hit the little bell notifications because youtube is being a little pistol and not showing everyone's videos and news feeds again i i see you youtube i see you <laughs> so anyway but i'm gonna talk to you guys later and i'll see you next time bye well folks it's time to kick it old school uh, so you can feel cool <laughs> give it to my baby Baby. <laughs> yeah.